Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ohio Stacker. You know what time it is. Let's get into a box of quarters. Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Ohio Stacker. If you guys are a returning subscriber, welcome. It's such a nice uh, pleasure to have you guys here tonight. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I really hope that by the end of this video, I can earn your subscription because that would truly mean a bunch to me. And you know what? We have ourselves a uh, unopened box of quarters here. It is still sealed from the bank. Um, this quarter box, guys, it does have the holes on the bottom. Um, just kind of peeking through, I do notice that uh, it is going to be a circulated box. It's not going to be, you know, all, all brand new 2023. We got quite a few different designs in here. I know it's kind of tough to see with the lighting. I do apologize for that. Guys, but you know what time it is. I like to do a live opening. So let's go ahead and get into this box here and see if we have any enders on the side that we could not see. All right. Right off the rip, I'm not seeing anything besides a little piece of cardboard from the box. I don't know. Maybe that's our lucky roll, guys. Not seeing anything that's jumping out as a, uh, a dirty one there. As a silver, uh, it's kind of tough to see, you know, mint marks if they are wrapped up like this guy's here too. But uh, again, you know the drill. I'll bring you guys back in on our first find of this $500 quarter box. Guys, I'm, I'm going to pause right here. This is literally roll number one of this box roll number one guys right here at the top everything else is still untouched literally just pulled out this roll opened it up and can you guys see what i'm seeing that looks awful silvery it looks like it's got the right edge to be an american silver coin sometimes you may get fooled by a foreign such as a canadian quarter but those edges and those reeds look a little different guys we have silver on the first roll let's go ahead and see what we got guys first let's just do the reverse see if there's a mint mark and there is it's a denver mint mark guys and look you can still see some breast feathers on the eagle there the tail feathers are a little faint but they are there it's a denver mint mark what year do we have guys all right it's a 1964 it's the last year that silver quarters were produced it's got a little scuff on the cheek there but other than that guys this coin is beautiful. Look at the shine still on it. I know 64s were heavily, heavily uh, produced, but for this thing to be in a bank wrapped uh, roll in an unopened box, guys, we struck silver on the very first roll. Okay. Now that my blood pressure and my heart has settled down, let's get into it. I'll search the rest of the roll here. We'll pull out roll number two. Guys, should we go down or should we go across? Let's just go down in a row here. See what we can find. Nothing else in this row. We'll start here and we'll go down. If we find something, maybe the silver is going this way. Wish me luck. Hey guys, bring back in here for just a uh, kind of... Uh, show you where we're at guys we have uh, just uh, nine rolls left here in the box and uh, you know of course we do have this 1964 beautiful silver quarter uh, one thing i did not show on camera was a few rolls ago i did pull out this uh, balboa quarter it is from 1996 from panama so it's the first uh, foreign of the box and the only foreign so far of the box but i do bring you guys back in here for this right here and hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing right there. It is a W quarter. Let's go ahead and get her out of there. It does look like it's uh, seen better days, but hey, it is a West Point. Let's go ahead and flip it over. 
and it is the American Memorial Park, so the AMP for short. I might just take a nice cloth or a, a soft glove and uh, try to wipe off some of that those fingerprints and smudges, guys. But we are having ourselves a good box here. We do have ourselves a silver, a W, and a foreign, and we still have nine rolls to go. All right, well, this box is not done giving us fines, guys. We have three unopened rolls yet to go, and this one is going to yield our fourth find of the box. And as you can see, it's going to be a proof quarter. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of these quarters off here. And we can see that it is reverse showing. It is an Iowa, which is a 2004 proof. You can tell by the mirror finish on the coin. Let's go ahead and flip it over and see what the front looks like. All right, and there is the telltale sign of the S mint mark from San Francisco. Proof quarter, guys. This is our fourth find of the box. Silver, West Point, foreign, and now a proof. Well, guys, it sure didn't take too long to bring you back in. We are down to just one unopened roll left of this hunt. And we have something a little suspicious, a little silvery here. I do not think it is uh, American silver, nor do I really honestly think it's silver at all. The edges there just look a little off. If we would go ahead and look at the American silver quarter next to this one, you can see the reading is just a tad different, guys. So... We know it's not American silver, but let's just go ahead and find out what it is together. And it's going to be a foreign coin. All right. Uh, I cannot read that date, but it looks like a, a lamp or some type of a dish or serving utensil. So let's go ahead and see what it is. It is United Arab Emirates. So the UAE. Guys, if you could... Uh, Tell me what date this is on this coin. That'd be very helpful. I may just have to go ahead and get on the old uh, internet and find out myself. And if I can even pick up the coin. Uh, I'm going to guess it's a 19-something. But uh, I can't read that, guys. So we have two foreigns, silver, W, and a proof. And still, the rest of this coin roll to uh, go through. And the one on open roll. All right, I guess I should have just left the camera rolling, guys. Uh, the very same rule. Very same rule that we just pulled out this uh, coin right here. And, guys, I did go ahead and have time to look it up. It says 1998 to 1419. Uh, I'm not kind of sure why the dates are backwards, but uh, that's what the old Internet says. This means is 1998 to 1419. So, awesome. Thank you, UAE, for a Pretty cool coin, but I should have left you in here, guys, because I got another find for us. Let's see if we can find it right here. Nope, that's the Denver. There it is, right there. You guys can see it right here. It's got the V75 and the W. Guys, that is going to be two finds in one roll. And this coin is, uh, well, looks like Washington's got some mud on his face. That's unfortunate. It should wipe off with a cloth. But it is a West Point, nonetheless, in the V75, which makes it better. A 2020 Marsh Billings at Rockefeller. Uh, pretty cool, guys. So, look, we have two Ws and a lot of other finds, including the best one yet so far, that silver coin. Not the most valuable, but the best coin uh, that you can hang on to here, guys, because they just don't make silver coins like this anymore. Um I'll go ahead and get through the rest of this really fast, guys, and uh, hopefully that last coin is holding a lot more goodies. Well, folks, unfortunately, uh, the box is empty now, and this hunt has to come to an end, but it did not disappoint. We had some silver, 1964, the very first roll, which really gave me high hopes that this was going to be a pretty sick box. Um, hey guys, honestly, really, it was. It didn't hold more silver, but you can see on the board what it did hold. We do have ourselves an S proof. Again, this was the Iowa, the 2004, and it's just getting kind of foggy with my fingerprints on it, guys. That's all right. We do have ourselves a West Point V75 2020, a regular West Point that's got quite a few scratches on too. Not too excited and happy about that, but I'm happy to have a West Point 2019. Uh, AMP. 
And we did get blessed with uh, two foreigns, guys. We got uh, this United Arab Emirates or UAE coin. Pretty sick there. And, guys, we did get the Republic uh, of Panama, 1996 Balboa. I don't have one of these in my collection, but I'm so uh, pretty happy to have this, guys. So, we have ourselves six finds out of the entire box. Everything has been rewrapped. I'm going to go ahead and take it back to the bank, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I can get another box as good as this one. Folks, if you've stayed along and watched this far, I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new, hopefully this video can earn you, uh, your subscription. I highly appreciate that. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching.